Hey everyone, my name is Susie. And my name is Manushi. And we will be reading Skippy John Jones by Judy Skatner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So he went again. So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. <laughs> my head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a mew, mew, soft voice. My name is Skippy Too, Frisquito. I feel not a single bandido. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffer Nutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, carimba, what goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito, the great world sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Puquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skippito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, si, I love rice and beans, said Skippito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito! It's the end of Alfredo Bazito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumblebee. Though. Then all of the chimichangos went crazy to <clears throat> a local. 
First, they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebeeto for Skibito to see. A hush grew over the chimichanga so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd, el blimpo Bumblebeeto bendito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito, the banditos steal our fijilos. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued, red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito, because we are full of the beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and it, in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijilos. Frijoles, huh? asked Skipito. The, the dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skipito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Skipito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skibito had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skibito, or is it you, the bendito will ito, they cried. Skibito stood his ground, but his leg legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then, in a moy, moy soft voice, he said, my name is Capito Fresquito. I fear not a single bendito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight from Capito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Capito as he thrust his sword in the air. When the bandito landing, landing on Skipito's sword, and quicker than one could say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the Bumblebito Bandito. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito, clap, clap, our Hero is El Skipito, clap, clap. He is the dog of our dreams, who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos, clap, clap. But back at home, there was such a ruscus, ruckus coming from Skippy, John, Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Benguito, Crushito, Papito, Skippito. Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy. Beanbag doggies and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a moy, moy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippy John Jones, they call, called his mama. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. And that was the book. And we finished the book called Skippy John Jones by Judy Skatchner, and you can find this at your local library or your school library. I hope you Thank enjoyed. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye.